2018 question paper. Just I'll read out. Mr. Intervat has held the following investments and incomes during the financial year 2016-17, and it is there. Please make it 2018-19 because our financial year previous year is 18-19. 2008% state government securities 510% tax free commercial securities 4012% commercial securities 10000 gross received as interest on public limited company securities 7200 interest received on debentures of abc limited 9000 interest received on securities of xyz limited rupees 5000 dividend received from indian company 4000 interest received from UTI and 2,10,000 net the lottery income of Kerala state lotteries, bank charges 5,000 as collection charges, compute his income from other sources for the assessment year 1920. Please make it 1920, okay? Guys, uh, uh, I will read out the points one, uh, one by one. First point is rupees 2 lakhs, 8% state government securities. Please look at here. It is less tax-free government securities. These securities are issued by the state government. When you invested money on state government securities, the state government will pay you interest every year. On such interest paid, no tax will be deducted. They will give you the gross amount, full interest amount which you have earned. So, no need of grossing up on this. So, interest on state government securities on 2 lakhs 8% is 16,000 ok guys next point is 5 rupees 5 lakhs 10% tax free commercial securities see this is commercial is nothing but non government so the word tax free commercial securities if tax free commercial securities is given these companies will pay you interest at the end of the year the these companies will pay you interest net amount net means what after deducting the taxes so tds always they will deduct the taxes and they will give you the income so therefore tds always they have that now if you receive net amount, you don't know what is the gross amount which you have received. But for our computation of this purpose, we need gross amount. So therefore, I'll write your interest on tax-free commercial securities on 5 lakhs, 10% comes to 50,000 rupees. In this, tax is deducted 10%, means you got 90% of what interest amount. We need to find out what is the gross amount. So, the gross amount is 55,555. 55,555. This is tax free commercial. In the third point is rupees 4 lakhs, 12% commercial security. See, commercial is nothing but a non-government, but the word tax-free is not given in the question. If it is a commercial security, the word tax-free is not given. It is less tax-free non-government securities. What we have to do, does he given the rate of interest? Yes, it is. He is given. So therefore, now we will take interest on commercial securities commercial securities on 4 lakhs 12 percent is 48,000 which is fully taxable and since in case of less tax free commercial securities no tax would be deducted they would be paid a gross amount full amount so therefore I am not grossing up for this interest income Rupees 10,000 gross received as interest on public company limited securities. See, whenever the word gross amount is given, 
please don't do anything just write as it is it is fully taxable so interest on public company securities 10000 rupees it is a gross amount so therefore no need of grossing of it it is a gross amount itself is given next is 7200 interest received on debentures of abc limited see abc limited again it is a non government but here rate of interest is not given does he given the rate no rate is given but what he is given he is given the amount of interest he earned see when the amount of interest is given we need to gross up though it, it is not a tax free it is not a it is not a tax free or it is not a less tax free it is a tax free only but what he is given he is given the amount of interest it's not a less tax it is a tax free only but what he is given he is given the amount of interest rate he is not given percentage of interest he is not given if percentage of interest is not given if the amount of interest is given then always we need to gross up because the previous adjustment 10,000 gross amount is given, but here 7,200 nowhere is given as a gross. So it, if it is not given, then it is nothing but net amount is given. We need to gross up. So interest on debentures of ABC limited 7,200 divided by 90 into 100 which comes to 8,000 rupees. Okay guys, next is 9,000 rupees interest received on securities of XYZ limited. Similar interest on debentures of ABC limited, but here what is given? Interest on securities of XYZ limited. Again, it is a tax free only, but what is given? Amount of interest is given, no rate is given. So therefore, interest on Securities of XYZ Limited and 9000 is the amount is given for 90. What is for 100 is 9000 divided by 90 into 100 is 10,000 rupees. Next, 5000 dividend received from Indian company. See, Indian company, any dividend received from an Indian company, domestic company, is exempted. So, therefore, dividend from Indian company is exempt. Next is 4000 interest received from the units of UTI. See, UTI sometimes they pay either interest or dividends. So, therefore, any interest on UTI or any dividends on UTI is fully exempted. So, therefore, interest on UTI is also exempted. Okay guys, next is 2,10,000 net lottery income from Kerala state lottery is given as a lottery income, net amount is given, we need to gross up. Winning from lottery 2,10,000 and in case of casual income, what is the rate of taxes? It is 30%. So the net amount would be for 70. What is for 100 is 3 lakh rupees. And at the end is given one more point. What is that? Is bank charge 5,000 for collection of collection charges or collection charges. See, in, we are getting uh, so many interest uh, amounts from so many various sources and from various companies and we have given the responsibility to bank to collect the interest and uh, credit to our account and bank is charging uh, 5000 rupees as a bank charges it's an expenses so therefore now first we calculate the gross income from other sources so this will comes to 555 9, 16, 21, 27, 2 carries, 3, 4, 8, 
13, 14, 1 carries and 4. So 4 lakh 47, 555 less, less bank charges or collection charges, 5000 rupees and the rest of the amount 4 lakh 42,555 is your income from other sources. So this is a 2018 question paper. So almost uh, types of securities are uh, whatever I explained. So same, remain same on the board and on the basis of this I have solved this question. So please if you like my lecture, please like my videos share my videos forward to your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel site study circle and if you have already subscribed please ask your friends also to subscribe thank you so much